Mba tande kerera Anunga mya era panirira Ewe pita muchi uvu chokupa Sirina chentia limu maliribo Ole musumba
Thank you very much, the clergy. I think our opponent have had the message very well. This is just the beginning. We are reminded to remain humble, both in the mountain of Olevo, another mountain of Elevo, and Green Hill is ready to celebrate with you. Yet 18 age, we shall invite you. 20 20, we shall invite you. Who wants to come back when you are about 18 days? Okay, everybody. So you are going to organize something for you. Thank you very much. It might hand up our board. Thank you, thank you. Uh, up next are speeches, and uh, the head teacher will be the first person to make the remarks. Mr. Hatemble is not here, but the head teacher is here. So Mr. Okanya will give the remarks as a teacher. Uh, Mr. Okanya, Julius, the most welcome. Good is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. God is good. Um, in, on behalf of the head teacher, who is not in school, but the office is operating. Um, our dear board member present, director's representative, our dear parents, staff, ladies and gentlemen who are very special today, allow me to say good morning all. On behalf of the head teacher at Greenville Primary School, Duarte, I would like in a special way to thank the Jewish Foundation for organizing this occasion. Um, I also thank the Greenville Academy Duarte Top Achievers for adhering to the pressure. Of course, these pressures were coming from all zones. The pressure from home, the pressure from school, the pressure from friends, pressure from self that has made you move towards scoring maximum points in all subjects. We can't take that for granted. We deserve a good answer. In a special way, allow me also thank the parents for the time and resource put together to see to it that these children acquire the education they deserve at that time, putting in their time, coming to school day by day to pick the children, to drop the children, participating in all programs organized by the school, and arranging all the necessary support activities that they did to see to it that you achieve what you achieve. Great hand clap for our parents. There's another special team that I want to categorically start, that is the teaching staff. I request that you stand up for a round of applause. You did a great job. You went on WhatsApp, they went on Zoom, they did all it takes. And mark you, they didn't earn a full salary. That was the time when the school was going through what she was going through. But they did their best at the lowest pay the school could afford. Thank you so much for giving in your time. May God In this way, I want to assure all of you that Greenville Primary School Buate continues standing. And as I speak now, we are having interviews for the 2022 intake. Tell a friend, tell your parent, tell your friend's friend to tell the friend that the school is open for admissions. Send everyone, we are ready to do the very best. Like you have achieved, the rest can also partake of the good waters. To the candidates who made it all with the maximum points, success is always challenged but each time you stand your ground, people prove you right. There are so many forces that you're going to face out there. There are so many cool factors that you're going to face, but stand your ground and stand tall. You're going to make it. Make it more and we shall celebrate you. Each time you come across people who beat you, 
do not distance them, do not hurt them, but to draw closer and work out, find out how they do their own thing so that you can actually compete favorably. I wish you the very best of this function. And as a school, we are humble and we are ready to celebrate more victory from you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you very much, Mr. Okanya, head of school. Uh, today our needs, this is this statement, that success usually comes to those who are too busy to be looking for it. So if you want to succeed again in all level, you expect to be too busy looking for that success that will come to you. Up next is uh, Mrs. Tukume, who is the chairperson P7 Academic Committee. That lady standing over there, the, the team who are working on behalf of you, the parents, working with us, they did a lot of things. They played full field all the support, ranging from items. I don't know how many schools Mrs. Kukume went to, but the teachers remember the very many items we used to give the children. We did all items across Uganda. And with that, we can't thank you enough. Thank you, thank you very much. Mr. Kukume. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Mr. School. Also, the whole staff. We, nine years ago, some of us trained nine years ago in this school. Just when it was open to the outskirts of Wazi, I recall that time that my older son was finishing pre primary and was in the battlefield of looking for school. And just when we were starting to hunt, I, I liked going to school, which is in the nearest reach, without having to wake up a child at 4 a.m. to bring them to school. So just when we were beginning to check, then we, we heard that Bridget was coming to the neighborhood. And I recall going to Green Hill to Woody and sitting and asking when is it open. And it was not yet, I think this was like November, before it opened the next year. They were not yet sure whether they were going to open at that first time, but we believed. So most of us that are here, those that have been the children who are here nine years, seven years, six years, two years, three years, we came in here with with hope. We believe in the in belief in the vision that really was putting out there and believe in the system that we didn't know of. You know, we're all coming from different schools and we didn't know that this would work for us, but we had that hope and uh, and focus that this would work for us. Now for the parents here, it doesn't just work, the school doesn't just work. The parents just have to be involved. So I want to first take this opportunity to thank the school that you have enabled us to be part of the academic journey for the children. And for those that have been here long, you know that Greenville, right from the start, you would sit with your child and set academic targets, set all these other targets. So for me as a parent, that worked out for me because then I needed to walk this journey with my child and know that we can either achieve this or we cannot achieve it. It was not entirely about the, about the school. So the children that we are seeing here are really a, an exhibition of hard working, a hard working group, a very hard working group, a dedication to study, healthy competition. I think I walked the competition. I don't know how, I know almost every name in this room. Because the children would come back and say, Hadassa, uh, then pray. Then they'll say, Gal, then you'd say, Stephen. Somehow, when the results came back, you knew what everyone got and what they got and how they performed and how they did not perform. So, not, not that it was a competition that brought people down, because for those that were involved, you know that in P7, these children had study groups. Uh, they had study groups with the teachers, they had individual study groups. So there was a whole mix of sharing information, sharing skills, and working together to make sure that they, they push forward. So I like telling the children that it's not stopping here. The same hard work that you did in this event, 
that's what we do when we are at work right now. Like hard work doesn't stop. And that skill that you have got is going to push you forward. The teacher, thank you very much. I know every teacher in this place. You know, those times that you come for the parent teacher forum, and children know which parent they should bring, by the way. They said, I don't want to go with mommy because we are going to spend three hours in the, what? In the class. Maybe we should go with daddy because they will give him and we run. But the teachers, we sit and even if the child has got 90, you want to understand why the 10 marks we are not what? We are not good. And I'm not only 90. Let me recall, there is a teacher that I'm not mentioned the end. Who said, you know, the boy is good, but he crosses a lot. He, he runs through the paper, and before you know it, he's crossing. And these things will add up, will cost us a lot of marks. So you can't know that unless the teacher is very dedicated to the, to the child, and in minds about the child, and fix that child, and is able to discuss the child as an individual and not as in a common group. So the teacher, thank you very much. The man teaching staff, the man teaching staff, I saw that Elsie and she knows how many punctures we had in that school. Of bleeding, oh, he fell down, they call you, but by the time you come, she has arrested everything. The people in the kitchen that fed them excellent meals. These children come, would come back home and say, the school is giving us better news than what? Than home. So that means that pushed them a lot to be able to study. So we really thank the management, the teachers, the non-teaching staff, everyone that has been part of this journey. And we thank the parents that have been dedicated. I know the parents in this room must be those that are dedicated. I just want to assure you that of all the 169 students that sat, we are just seeing 16 here. But as a parents committee, we care even for the child that was getting I think about that aggregates in three years. We used to look at all the aggregates and passionate that each child comes out and comes out excellently well. We had a great average of 8.3 aggregates. Now, I got 8 aggregates. At 3 I did get 8. Now, 8 is a very excellent grade because generally it's a 2 to 2 to 2. It's a distinction grade. So of all our 159 children, we had an amount of this great point average in the, in, the, in the country. So as a parent committee, we are excited. We are getting into a very challenging year because next year we have, I think, a double P7. And we have children that have been home for more than two years. But we, we believe that the methods that have worked for us for this group will work for us for the groups that are coming. But about all as a school, we, we pride ourselves I'm speaking like a school. <laughs> we pride ourselves in integrity. I can assure you, I'm both, I, I am one of the parents that I can walk the night. The ten years of my son. I do not believe we cheated, we did not cheat. So the food that we get actually is a reflection of the teaching methods that have been put in place. So with those methods, I believe we are only seeing the tip of the iceberg. We shall move back and we've got big, I know. I think the sky is the limit. So we, we shall market the school and I believe we will be overwhelmed. So we need to start expanding and coming up with new approaches of addressing the need in the community. But thank you very much. Thank you to the board for having a great to come to the community. And thanks to the teachers that have managed here. I was seeing the same faces. One of my biggest worries was the committee chair was if we drop our teachers, what will happen if we have to get new teachers? So thank you so much for speaking through the turbulent time. I know that better things are yet to come in the next year. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarah. Those remarks, thank you very much. Uh, our this another statement for you. We shall, talk, we shall stop guiding you. In Green Hill, we allow children to ask many questions. But as you go to secondary school, check the way you use the why, how, what questions. Here it is okay. You ask and teacher will explain. Elsewhere, 
it will it is it will be called in this way. We don't want to go through the scenario of our first four that went to Gayaza and was given options of either cutting off hair or expulsion because of asking why. How dare you ask the teacher why? You see, and she was quoting, in the this is Gayaza. So our hour is some of those questions, why, how, why? Let them be in your heart. If you speak them, don't say we never want them. Okay? Let's be humble. And I think what I want to do is to read more of the school rules and regulations. Because we've got them, please endeavor to read line by line. I think I've got the message. Wonderful. That child chose to cut off the hair and to see with the hairs. We thank God there were two options. It was expulsion, imagine being expelled because of asking why. Yet here it is open. We shall give you the answer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to make some few remarks about the text of honor. Please, Mrs. Aida Mutes, when I'm here. She's a teacher by profession. Teacher, I think you are listening. Let's laugh for our best of honor. A teacher by profession. She knows whatever you go through, she has tested. And an economist by training. And in Greenhill, she's the vice chairperson of the Greenhill Academic Board. In 1994, she's not be forgotten if you would she was the first person to plant grass and flowers in that academy. So if you go and you enjoy the beautiful environment because of Mrs. Wanele. <laughs> and in church, which is then still in church is so good. You mentioned the pillars. Her name will not be this. Question all of us. Does your pastor, your bishop, your priest know you by name? You have the answer. Your shape, you have the answer. <laughs> you have the answer, and the learning has never stopped. So allow me to invite Mrs. Wanele here to make her remarks and we go into the awarding ceremony. You're most welcome, Mrs. Wanele. I expected Mr. Mugabe to spend the night sleeping. I didn't know it was going to be searching about me. But then I that was the very last. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Morning. 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 But I guess we need to say a special or give a special greeting to this young lady and gentleman in the back. Thank you for doing whatever you do. But as, as you have been told, it's just the beginning. Today it is in Greenhill, tomorrow to the airport, the day after to be Washington. You can do it. I won't tell my story because otherwise you sleep here. We hear that we as a school, we appreciate everything that everybody does to help the school right. We opened in uh, February 1994 and we are growing. Ladies and gentlemen, we all know that 2020, 2021, have been very, very challenging years in various ways. Emotionally, physically, spiritually, financially. But the man at the top there has helped us to go through it. So we have to thank God. Just 
despite all that, we had the best results for Greenhill Primary School in Hawaii. As you have been told before, Maybe I should say, I'm standing in for my board chair, who could have, he says, uh, you think who could not come? Um, as you have been told, I deputize her, so I'm still happy. It's not to be deputizing her. Uh, which are, you have been told by Mrs. Uh, that uh, we had 159 candidates, and we thank God that all of the good results. But we got 16 of them seated here who got fours. And as if that wasn't good enough, we had another 15 who had fights. Yeah. So we are here to celebrate and to thank God for all that. He has a given spiritual academic faith. These are our distinguished achievements. We are here at this today. Don't you see the red carpet? It is worth noting, specifically for Hawaii, that this is the third or fourth sitting PLE city, but the first one. Where we have got these good results. And now, as graduates of Green uh, Hill School, I ask you, and on behalf of my board chair whose speech I'm reading, I ask you to take note of the following. In whatever you do, uphold your children. In whatever you do, I will teach that. According to me. Because Green Hill has been breathing that into you for a reason. It will always determine to be a fallback position. And I will explain this to you about that. If somebody comes and says, no, 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 no. I shall not doing this. If that the community you are living in knows that you are, it's not your level of integrity. They'll say, no, it can't be no. to be your forefront position. You are, you are coming to a point where you have to, you will be making plans. And if you make plans for the future today, you stand a greater chance of achieving them simply because you will focus. And I'll tell you, I left the high school several years ago. It is my graduate and I in high school. But I had three words that helped me. Coming from a rural area, walking so many miles to, to primary school, school and so on, I had three words that guided me. One, focus. Two, hard work, and three, determination. If you are focused and you work hard and you are determined, nothing will make you fail. In life, there will be good times and bad times. Don't let bad times derail you. In all this, never give up and don't forget that God is in control. Now, the, once again, I want to thank the parents for the support and the trust you put in the book, read you. And as already mentioned by other speakers, I really cannot ignore thanking the teachers for teaching and not teaching staff. You have put in a lot of effort. It's not a question of, uh, you know, I arrived at 8 and give at 5. No. It has been acknowledged by the uh, parents' representative. And I'm sure, I mean, 
you as parents of these achievers know that the teachers, both teaching and that teaching staff, have put a lot of effort. I've, been to, I've heard about people who say they prefer bring you food than food at home. Now, as a, uh, on behalf of the board of Brazil Academy, you will be recognized one way or another. And I want to assure you that as you have heard before, we are not going to forget you. You are still part and parcel of Brazil Academy. I understand that your motto, what was your motto? Sorry? Good. No, no, that's the school model. But each class nobody has something. And I understand that motto for 2022 is Telekuzikiza. Is that true? It's Telekuzikiza. Telekuzikiza Timu Kalanga. But you can take a bottle of a bit out of that. What the candle or the light you have read it in it. Now, in addition to the statistics, I'm sure you all know about the Grand Farms Education Students Trust. The board is so impressed that the candidates for 2020, you've already hit the fire to be followed by those following you, and therefore you get a certificate and a small token from Gladys Wabuzi Education Trust. I'm told, uh, I'm told teaching, I went into all sorts of other, uh, what should I call them, pieces of work. And I know that in, in business, the best marketing agent is a satisfied customer. So you customers who are satisfied, market our schools for us. Who knows? Maybe the next the next one will be the body, being selfish, that's where I come from. Yeah, it's no way to go in space. Now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. We are very grateful to you as parents for trusting the trust in your children's work. And we are looking for more up to the level of their children. We are not looking for more. We are just growing and expanding. Thank you very much. I specifically need special message from the board chair, the entire board, the shareholders who after are responsible for uh, getting the school going, and our residents. They, for some reason, they could not make it, but they are here with us in prayer. Thank you very much, Artist of Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to make some recognition. Our first city was in 2017, and uh, we have some too. They will stand up and call them. They performed so well. We got one, four, five, and six, and those who are among that group. So, and, uh, getting forth, one thing that, that has been helping us keep going are the testimonies from parents. Those children are out competing many folks where they are. Out competing. Not saying that we didn't want to get the folks. We wanted them. But maybe God said, wait, I'll give you the blessing in 2021. And this is And that was the beginning. Now 2022. We need people. Yes. People. Yes. And uh, on the same note, I want to recognize the administrators from Kibuli Primary. 
the three deputies are here. This is the Kavuma, deputy, National Executive, Mr. Kamiya, deputy, Mr. Kikoden, Mr. Mbubi, deputy, administration, you are most welcome. So, today the function of that is in Iwate, tomorrow it is in Kibuli, and the team still will go to Kibuli. This year, we promise to come this time. You will be reading Green Hill left and right. We need water, we need people like that. We want to take those pages and to happen. Amen? Amen. Uh, up next, we're going to do a session of uh, awards, and this is how we're going to do it. The guest of honor, we shall request the guest of honor to take position. And when the our key is read, we will come for the certificate and the envelope from our guest of honor. And thereafter, if you came with the money ordered, one of them will come here and acknowledge the seat of that envelope. I saw Adrian at Wongide. A hand clap, Adrian at Wongide. Thank you very much. So, Debbie, for my, I think Debbie will come here. Buddy for Oma Taka. Congratulations. Make sure you take a nice photo. That is very for Oma Taka. Congratulations. I saw Rebecca Olakira. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Walakira. The other side. Mani Walakira. Walakira. Yeah. Our kids, please look at Mr. Kasozi. We want those nice photos. Thank you. I saw Oma. Brennan, I'm almost getting to my height. <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations, Boma. Supported by Rihanna. Thank you. John Christian of Kenya. Congratulations. It is the beginning. Oh. Thank you. I saw Sarah Semakula. Congratulations, Sarah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Sarah. Dao, the mother of Matthew. Congratulations, Dao. It's the beginning. We are following you. You want our age in eight. Yes. He's an engineer. Congratulations, he's an engineer. Please don't throw the envelope. You are throwing me money. You may think you may think you don't have the envelope. There is money. <laughs> Yes, can we have Elizabeth Nakunda? Thank you very much for even taking the Bible reading this morning. Kisha, Kisha Kamara Hakiza, congratulations. Congratulations. 
Lisa. Congratulations. I'm glad to see another one whispering to me that they are going to win in secondary school degree. Mwadi Roman, congratulations. Let us also award her with something. Let us honor, kindly accept that simple appreciation. Uh, on behalf of Greenville Primary School, Duarte, allow me to take this privilege to award our guest of honor from US with this special appreciation. Please consider it. Thank you. Ladies department, please. This is to me, we'll hand over that one to Mr. Holmes Abode. He says to me, want to hear those words you have spoken to Mr. Moza. <laughs> I, I was thanking him very much. By the way, for those that don't know, it was not only today. Some of these children were beneficiaries. There was a scripture union meeting that used to happen every Sunday. For who, how many children would attend? Cuts of Sitcha Godfrey. Put up your hands if you are part of that. At least we used to attend the scripture union group every Sunday. And there is a scripture union camp happening 13th to 18th December, which is about a week away. It's, it's the best investment you can make because even after these faults have been talked about, you need to first invest in your spiritual life because there is no one else that can carry you through it. So thank you very much, Head of Lady, for that school and for giving us the word about Ebenezer and for starting us in the rights. Thank you very much. Thank you. Another statement from the case of Pona. Don't get one of those statements. Even when you're at home, you shall post statements on the WhatsApp group. Amen? Thank you. Yeah, I, 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 I
just to uh, mention that there are 270 teachers you here you'll get a country from that great She's not Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to a session of group photos. We shall do the group photos. Then we come back and have a cup of tea. Those that want now family will come after the tea. Okay? But we are going for the group sessions in Block D. I request the operator first to move because they will determine how we are going to position ourselves. <laughs>